getting stuck into the woods sometimes make your life very difficult. Mainly when you are a beginner hunter. What happens in the jungle when you look at the trees, it looks like every tree has a bear from the movie The Renament lurking behind it and looking for you to attack. So in 2003, when a Novik hunter named Chomsky was stuck uh, during his hunting, it was pretty much evident that he was looking forward for some kind of help. So instead of calling the forest rangers and getting their help, what he did, he started a fire. And he assumed that looking at the smoke, people can look at his location and rescue him. And what happened after some time that flame became uncontrollable and it spread across the forest. And my friends, the blaze engulfed 300,000 acres of land and state of California has to declare the emergency. 15 people got died in this incident and of the people from the fire department took 10 days just to stop the flame. And this fire was one of the largest running fire in California history. All of this happened because of one tiny mistake that this guy, instead of reaching out to the forest rangers, started, doing, uh, started the fire. And fellow Toastmasters and no guests, I <laughs> <laughs> So how many of you feel that in your life when you do small mistakes, it sometimes come back with a big loss or you have to pay a heavy penalty on it. Please raise your hands. All right? I have lots of people. Good. So let me tell you my story. April 2013, I was lying on the bed, getting good sleep. I got a call from my manager. He said, Avdesh, do you have a valid passport? I replied, smart. He said, I have a valid passport along with a valid visa. He said, great. That's what I want to hear. So pack your bags. You are going to United States of America next week. Book your tickets. I was like, boom. I got this opportunity. I was looking for a couple of years. I booked my tickets, packed my bags, That's my flight, everything was hunky-dory. I reached to the United States, in New York, everything was hunky-dory until I reached the reception of the hotel. I reached at the reception, and the guy at the reception, he talked to me like this, okay, good evening gentlemen, welcome to residence in Marriott. How can I help you? I changed my accent. I have a reservation. All right, please tell me your last name. I said, it's same. What, missing? Uh, <laughs> no, it's S-I-N-G-H. All right, let me take a look. I'm sorry, you don't have a reservation. You left me the same. What? I have a reservation. Look at my, uh, my reservation. I have a valid reservation ID. Mm hmm OK. Let me take a look with your first name and your reservation ID. All right. I can see it. Welcome aboard, Mrs. Lunu, and have a nice day. Lunu? Who is Lunu? <laughs> but I was so scared that I thought, OK, I'll figure it out later who is Lunu. But first of all, let me check into the hotel. I checked inside the hotel and started identifying the things. So the very first thing I did, I actually I actually looked at the hotel information and I found it. It's actually Avdesh Lunu. And then I started thinking, what the hell is this? I did some investigation and found that there is some issue with my passport. Next slide, please. Can you please, guys, please identify the issue with my passport, except my photograph? Mm -hmm. Next slide, please. Guys, I do have a last one. My entire name is printed in my first name. So in, to enter into the United States of America, you have to have a valid last name. If you don't have a valid last name, what the people who are doing reservation, they do, they give you a glory, glorious name called Lunu, and it stands for last name unknown. So <laughs> my last name was unknown. I said, OK, I can digest this thing. That's fine. Let me 
uh, go forward with my journey. And the second thing, uh, or the very first thing, United States, you need to get a social security number. Without social security number, you cannot do anything. I went to the social security office and I started using my new name. I said, okay, Abdesh Lunu, gave it to the lady sitting on the counter. She looked at the paper, she said, oh, why your name and your passport is not matching? Okay, show me your visa. I, she looked at my visa and she showed me something, my friends. I was really highly disappointed and furious. Uh, what? I saw another name, Funu Avdesh Pratap Singh. I said, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> she said, uh, you know what, Avdesh, to enter into the United States, you have to have a valid last name. But if you don't have a last name in your passport, so what we do, we make your first name as your last name, and we make your first name as Funu, first name unknown. I was like, what, what the hell is going on? I said, OK. Now water has fallen under the bridge. Let's see what else we can do. I said, OK, can you give me the social security number? She said, yes, definitely. But my friend, because of the fact you don't have a known name in the United States of America, your name in social security number is unknown of Desh Mulaab Singh. <laughs> so I got a third name in the United States of America. I said, what the hell is going on? And my friends, I got three names in the United States. If I, and these are very specific names, I need to tell you this, because you cannot interchange them. So if I need to book my travel, I have to use Avdesh Renu. If I want to work on my visa thing, I have to use Funu Avdesh Pratap Singh. And if I need to use, take a gas connection, or I need to take a phone number, I have to use the unknown Avdesh Pratap Singh. These names cannot be changed. Inter, inter, I cannot interchange these names, because if I will go to take a SIM, a phone, I need my SSN name. If it's not there, if I say Puno of this Pratap Singh, they are not going to accept it. Their system will not have this name. And my own identity is not applicable. Mm -hmm. So I did some further research. And when I tracked back, it was a very small mistake from my side when I got my passport. I never looked at my last name is there, but it's not at the current position. So because of overlooking of this fact. It happens with everyone in your life. We got some kind of work, we divide it into, like we bifurcate into big tasks or small tasks. We view our more, of more concentration on the big task, but not on the small task. So what I feel, if you start giving our full concentration on the small task as well, you'll not be ending up in the situation like this, me searching my own identity, because my friends in your life, sometimes doing mistake is not an option. Every small thing matters.